Hi, my name is Mark Turner. I'm the Fleet Service Director with Offshore Sailing School. I'm here to talk to you about the five basic engine checks you should perform before getting underway. So here we have good access to our engine room via underneath the stairs, which lift up. Um, we have our fuel filter over here. We have a belt and we also have our raw water impeller. Some fuel filters may have a glass bowl on the bottom of the filter and if you see a clear fluid in the bottom of that bowl, there's possibly water in the bottom of that bowl and you'll want to drain that off into a cup. To check for belt tension, depress on the belt, the belt should not deflect any more than the width of the belt. The raw water comes in through a seacock and then through a strainer and then to the impeller unit here. Here is the lever for the raw water seacock and it is in the closed position right now as it's horizontal. I can open the seacock like so and now the seacock is open allowing raw water to flow to the strainer and then onto the impeller and the cooling system of the boat. This is our raw water strainer. When the water leaves the seacock, it comes to the strainer here. As you can see, there's a little bit of seaweed in there and we're going to take that out right now. So to clean it, we would first close the seacock, take the cap off, careful not to lose the O-ring, and then we can easily take the basket out. And we can see there's a little bit of seaweed in there. I'm going to just take that out of there. We insert the basket first, then put your O-ring back on. Yeah. And then lastly, put your cap back on. And then before you restart the engine, remember to reopen the seacock. You also need to check the freshwater side of your cooling system. This system has coolant in it. This is our expansion tank. And when the engine's cold, the coolant should just be above minimum or above the low. Because this allows for expansion as the engine heats up and the uh, coolant expands. We also need to check our oil level. So we're going to pull out the dipstick. Initially, when we look at the dipstick, we want to check the oil quality. A little bit of black, that's okay, but if it looks like chocolate milk, that means there's water in your engine and you don't want to start it. Call a professional. To check the oil, first we're going to wipe the dipstick clear and we'll notice there are two markers on the dipstick, low and high. We want the oil to be somewhere between the two. Not enough oil is just as bad as too much oil. I'm gonna reinsert the dipstick all the way down, make sure it's firmly placed inside the tube, then pull it back out and check it. This way we get a proper check of the oil. And we can see it's between minimum and maximum, so this is just fine. Some spares you might wanna carry aboard are coolant, oil, a spare oil filter, a spare fuel filter, a spare impeller, some gear lube for the transmission, and a spare belt for the alternator and fresh water pump. And don't forget, you're a sailboat, and depending on the circumstances, you can use your sails.